I want to answer the question of what is Swedenborgianism, which um, many people are not familiar with the church because we're quite a small tradition. But um, the church is founded after uh, the mystic Emanuel Swedenborg, who was a, um, a writer and a thinker during the Enlightenment period. He spent most of his life as a scientist and an intellectual. And then when he was in his 50s, he turned inward and started having these deep medita meditative experiences where he, um, he describes his spiritual eyes were opened. And he has experiences of the other life, of heaven and hell. And he came back, and using all of his skills as a scientist, he kind of takes these meticulous notes and records everything that he saw. And there are many volumes that have been written about his experiences. So um, the church uh, looks to his writings and kind of tries to understand who we are based on what he saw of heaven and hell. Um, there's much I could share about the tradition, kind of the, the, the few things that are really important to me are uh, first that heaven and hell are a place, heaven in particular is a place for all people. It's not just people who live by a certain doctrine or a certain tradition, but it's all people who live lives by the best that they know. And this was really important to me um, as a person in this this time in, in history with many you know, friends and family of different traditions. Um, so heaven is this place where our salvation is not about prescribing to a particular doctrine, but it's an inner experience of opening to love and to understanding. Um, the other part of Swedenborg's um, experiences was he did a deep exegesis of the Bible, and he uncovered these deep levels of meaning of uh, uh, in, within the scriptures, this inner sense um, within the story. Um, and that inner sense corresponds to our own spiritual development and life. Um, and one way to describe it is there's this journey from the Garden of Eden in the book of Genesis to the holy city in the book of Revelation. And all of the tales within the biblical story from the Hebrew scriptures and the New Testament are these ups and downs of the spiritual life, of freedom and captivity, of uh, following the Lord through battles and challenges, and through that process, coming to understand ourselves and our place in the grand design. So the tradition has a lot to do with spiritual growth, um, a recognition that we are kind of connected to the spiritual realm and that it's kind of peeking through the creation and um, all of the things that we see in the natural world and then also in the biblical story.